some people got together and decided for two reasons. A, the town should have a real library. Secondly, we should have a library accessible to all people. And there was this convoluted reverter clause in the property where Patrick Henry Library now stands. I, I won't go into the details, but <laughs> the town didn't own that land. It was part of, I think, the Fairfax County School District or something. And it had a reverter that if it was ever used for anything except, 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 except the land would revert back. And that's where the little library was. So there ensued quite a difference of opinion between the trustees of the old library, many of whom were very good friends, and uh, this new group that was formed called Friends of the Library. And I have a habit of sometimes, I've learned, I don't do it anymore, wading into something without knowing what I'm wading into. And a very good friend came to me and said, Maud, you believe in libraries, don't you? And I said, of course. Well, why don't you join the Friends group? We need, okay, I'm there. And <laughs> so then I find out these little frictions between various segments of town and everything. And uh, so this is, people don't realize what used to happen. We need a decent public library. So we lobbied the county. I'm still rocking. And we weren't, you know, getting along. But at one point in those first couple of years, we had one thousand people signed up for Friends of the Library. I couldn't believe it one day when I read the statistics again. Everybody putting their dollar in. So the county finally said, we will give you, this is how Vienna got its first public library, we'll give you a, a, a storefront, public, that's what they used to do, they'd rent space in a commercial center and the giant shopping center was new and they rented a store down there and they said, but you have to put up $8,000 for quote-unquote shelving. Well, you don't know Vienna at the end of the 50s. $8,000? But luckily, Ms. Jonas kicked in some money. The Women's Club had innumerable rummage sales. We stood out in front of places. I had a post office in its original site with a cup Saturday morning after Saturday morning accepting contributions. And we finally got our $8,000, and we got the storefront library.